Hey everyone, it's Chris from Funtech Guys. So I'm just going to carry on where I left off and basically we were coding the PHP part of our form um, which is going to process this data. Now um, one thing that I did notice when I just ended the, uh, the video is that on line 24 we have a couple of errors. So we've got um, double brackets here so you just need to delete that so it's just got the one and then my arrow is the wrong way around so that needs to be if string length is greater than 10 characters. Um, uh, the the string, string length needs to be created in 10 characters. Um, okay, so we validated our, our email and we validated our message and we passed in the relevant errors. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is um, just handle the error message, uh, the, the message for um, our name. Because obviously name isn't a required field, we don't need to pass back any errors. So for speed, I'm just going to go ahead and copy this line up here and we'll change this to name name and I'm going to put a conditional in here to say okay um, if it is set we're going to handle it if it's not set then name is just going to equal no um, but in this case name has been set so we're going to clean up the data I'm going to do dollar underscore post square no uh, name um, and that's pretty much it for name all we've done is we've checked if it's been set if it has been set it's cleaned it up if it's not set then just leave it as a blank value. Okay, so now we need to um, handle the error messages. So um, what we can do is just drop down here and we can say, right, let's do an if, else, so if, else. And what, what we're gonna do, well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say, if there's any errors, handle it here. If there's not errors, then we can process the form. So let's just go process, uh, process form. Okay, how, how we count the errors? Because we've been adding errors into our array, whenever there's been an instance that can be errored, we go um, count, so we use the count function, open and close up uh, parentheses, and we can do errors. So what this is going to do is it's going to count the amount of elements that are in errors, and if it's not equal to zero, so if we can do not equal to zero, then there must be an error, because if count come back and it was zero, it's because count is set up here and it's blank and um, then that means it's, it's got all the way through our code and it's not hit one error so um, then we can go ahead and process the form but if it yeah if it's not equal to zero then we th there must be an error so let's go ahead and process that so what we can do is we can just echo some HTML elements so I'm just gonna echo a um, an unordered list so I'm gonna I'm gonna pass back the data to the user in list items so um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say for each open and close my uh, parentheses that's not each for each and then I'm going to access the array so I'm going to say uh, uh, for each errors as error so I'm using the plural here and I'm, I'm setting a new variable and this is singular, this, is, this could be anything, this could be Bob the monkey if I wanted however um, this is going to just be error um, so I'm accessing this array up here and I'm saying for each item return a single variable that I can use and I'm just going to say for each single item I want to echo out and let's just do an li I'm going to concatenate and then I'm going to just close off the li now, I know that I don't need to concatenate because I'm using double quotes, but um, I just like knowing that there's an error being passed here. So what I'm saying is for each individual error, just echo out an li and, um, and then we can, what's called, we can pass that information back to the user. So now if I go ahead and save that, come over to here and I type uh, bob at test.com and I do chris and I do this is a test message send this okay we have got an undefined, uh, undefined variable post so on line 35 so we'll go up to 30, 35 and name I've done um, I've not put the underscore there so I'm just going to go ahead and save that come back to our page reload and there you go it's processed the form because it's got all the way through the page we've we've entered some data we've entered a name we've entered a message and it's it's managed it's, it's got down here and it's it's fine so let's now break the page, let's submit. Okay, Email is a required field and message is a required field. So that's doing exactly what we expect it to do because obviously nothing's being passed into there. So what happens if I said Bob and I said 
press and then I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I put nine characters in there. Send this message, please enter for a valid email. Message needs to be more than 10 characters. So the error messaging is doing exactly what we want it to do. It is checking the name um, and it's um, sorry, it's checking the email, it's checking if it's a valid email and it's making sure that something is in that field. It's checking the message and it's making sure something is in the uh, message field and it's also making sure that the character length is more than 10. Um, and it's also um, checking to see if the name is there. So we're doing that and we're also cleaning the, the, the data up at the, whole, at the same time. So what we need to do now is we need to process the form. So um, what we do is, um, actually, you know what? Because we've got to the point now where the form is, it, it needs to process. I need to jump onto a server. So I'll do. I'll, I'll finish this video off on one final video. Uh, sorry, I'll finish this tutorial off on one final video where I'll go through the through the um, the mail to, and we can send the data off. So what happens if um, we we want to? Um, oh, hang on. Yeah, what happens if we want to pass uh, data back to the to the user? So rather than me, you know, if I've typed out a whole message here and I've said um, blah blah blah, and then I've just mistyped my email and I've hit submit, I'm I'm losing all my data or vice versa with email. So what we can do is um, we can say um, we can do, come down here and this is a little bit dirty but it's something that we can do so I'm just going to do PHP if um, is set um, dollar underscore post email then let's echo something out so we can say echo um, let's echo HTML entities dollar underscore post email and then let's close that off so echo and then I'm also going to say uh, so where, where we've echoed out clean data I'm also going to do a um, value equals what's the best way right this is getting a little messy so I'm just going to knock this down onto one line, onto a new line for the time being. So if it's set, um, echo value. Um, let's close that off, and then come here. Sorry, one second. I'm just getting, I'm just familiarising my, myself with it. So, oh, you know what? I'm going to come back and I'm going to delete this. So we need to echo. Let's, let's do it the uh, cleaner way. We need to echo value equals, and then in here there needs to be a value of some sort. So let's terminate this line and terminate the if. So in here we need to say HTML entities, and it needs to be dollar underscore post um, square single and it needs to be email so here now I'm going to say concatenate and then I'm also going to concatenate after 